Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, cheating wife gets furious when I send her divorce papers during a business trip. Come, let's explore these real life tales. My wife, 36, and I, 35, have been together for 7 years, married for 5. She frequently changes her line of work. When we first met, she was an advertising professional. Then she worked as a teacher. Later, she decided marketing would be a good fit for her. Because of this constant job switching, she must restart her career each time. When she did, she neglected me in our marriage. She told me it was the beginning of her career, so she needed to give it her all. She ignored me when she first started her new work as a marketing associate. As usual, I knew this was her pattern, so I was used to it. She paid special attention to her hair and makeup, saying that in marketing, she had to look professional and trendy. She cut her long hair and dyed it green. She took on a short bob haircut. I always liked her long hair but was not allowed to comment on her new appearance because it was her life. She got lip injections and Botox. She pierced her brows and chin and added tattoos to her entire arms. In short, she had undergone a complete makeover before starting her new job. It was difficult for me to identify her because she had stopped wearing brows most of the time. When I commented on her appearance, she stated she was young and needed new energy in her life and job. I was glad to see her pleased, but I didn't like her new look. She started her job and had forgotten that she was married. She would come home late, wouldn't respond to my texts, and we didn't get a chance to say hi or hello all day. She kept herself busy at work. She would only meet me at night to relieve her exhaustion from work. She had become wild in bed, so I liked that part. I wanted to have children, but she said she wanted to wait until she had a permanent job. She told me it would be selfish of me to consider having children at this stage in her career when she wasn't settled. As a result, I stopped bringing up the idea of having children. She began acting strange to me after only one month on her new job. She acted like we were living in different houses and informed me that she would be going on a 15-day business trip to Texas with the company. I questioned why they would send a new employee on such a long trip, but she insisted that it was necessary for her career development and that she needed to prove to them that she could handle business travels. I went to the airport to drop her off for her work trip, where I met her co-workers. There were two other women and two men with her on the trip. For her airport look, she chose a green short skirt and a green shirt to match her green hair. Her co-workers told me my wife had such a good sense of fashion. I pretended to agree with them, even though I despised the way she looked. She never bothered to let me know when she arrived in Texas and kept ignoring my calls and messages. After two days of being in Texas, she picked up my call for a short time and pretended to be busy. I FaceTimed her and noticed that both of her male co-workers were sitting on her bed. She ended the call after a short while and said they were working and had to attend meetings, so I shouldn't disturb her. She was really unpleasant, but I ignored her since I assumed she was busy. The following day, one of her female co-workers, Celeste, whom I had met at the airport when I went to drop off my wife, sent me a request on Facebook. I accepted it, and she asked if she could trust me with something. I said yes, of course. Celeste then informed me that her trip had only been for two days and that they had returned while my wife was still there. My wife had lied to me about the trips lasting 15 days. My wife had a fight with Celeste and another female co-worker over a hotel room, and my wife claimed that they were fighting with her because they were jealous of her, as all the men were paying attention to her. Celeste even sent me a video of my wife and those two male co-workers kissing and taking my wife to a hotel room looking drunk. Celeste told me that my wife had been sharing her hotel room with these two men, and she sent me all the necessary evidence that confirmed. My wife's infidelity shook me to the core. Celeste told me everything because she felt that I deserved to know the truth. I obtained confirmation of all the information from the hotel where she was staying, and afterward, I hired a lawyer to surprise my wife with divorce papers. 
I wasn't a fool to put up with all this filth while waiting at home for my wife. If she wanted to indulge with two men, she could do so when she was single. My wife wasn't like that before, but the day she changed how she looked, something in the way she acted also changed. She believed that I would never learn about her infidelity, but the universe had other plans. Celeste may have revealed everything to me because my wife and she had a dispute, but the universe had my back, and the truth eventually came to me. When my wife received the divorce papers, she was so shocked that she FaceTimed me and begged me to tell her it was a joke. She pretended to be innocent for a short while before admitting to her actions, saying she never wanted a divorce and that this was just a phase. She claimed she wanted to enjoy life before having children. She raged at me for being hasty and sending the divorce so quickly, and she blamed me for wrecking her life. She claims that cheating is not a reason to end a marriage, but I'm an old-fashioned man, and infidelity is a deal-breaker for me. She is young, and she can live her free life with other men if that is all she desires, but it is not my concept of marriage. That's not how I would define married life. If she wanted an open relationship, she should have shared it with me. I'm not in favor of open relationships, but at least I'd know what she was up to. But she wanted to live her life with different men while married, so she betrayed me. It was difficult for me to deal with my wife's betrayal and lies. I didn't want to seek vengeance, but when she kept posting pictures with different men after our divorce, I sent proof of her affair with her co-workers to HR, the proof that was sent to me by Celeste. Celeste informed me that my wife had lost her job now and HR terminated her. She now needs to restart her career from scratch, like she always does after losing a job. She has contacted me and wants to reconcile. However, I have no intention of doing so. Her mother contacted me and claimed she deserved to be forgiven, that she was going through a new phase, which is why she cheated, and that the boys with whom she cheated were not permanent. If your woman changes her entire appearance, such as dyeing her hair or getting piercings, she is more likely to cheat. I'm not claiming this happens in every situation, but it's what I've observed from my own experience. When a woman desires a new look, she is more likely to seek more than simply a new outfit or hairstyle. I've been seeing someone else lately, and I'm glad to be rid of my ex-wife, who is available to everyone. I appreciate you paying attention to my story and being here. Please feel free to share your experiences and tell me what you think of my experience in the comment section. Please click the subscribe button and like this story. Thank you and have a nice day.